Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I want to teach you about how to protect your Google account with two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication, or as Google calls it, two-step verification, is an added layer of security for an account. In this case, your Google account. The idea is that as well as something you know, which is your password, the first factor, a login to a new device requires a second factor, usually something you have, in this case, your phone. And you prove it by entering a code that is either texted to you, read out to you over the phone, or generated by an app on your phone. Here I am adding a new Google account to my phone. LastPass enters my username and my password for me. Then I'm required to go through the two-step verification process. A six-digit number is texted to my mobile. And when it arrives, the iPhone helpfully offers to paste it straight into the verification spot on the page. Now I'm authenticated on this device, as you can see by the different user icon up the top right corner. So how do we set this up? In a Google Chrome window on a Google page, go to the account icon up in the top right corner of the web page, not the one above it, that's part of the Chrome browser itself. You want this one here. Then click the Manage Your Google Account button. I then choose Security from the left-hand side menu and then click on Two-Step Verification. The system is explained and I click Get Started. First, I have to log in to prove that it's actually me. And because I already have a phone number associated with this account, it automatically does a two-factor authentication check by texting me a code to my phone. So I type this in and then press next. Next, I get to choose my second factor. I can either have the code sent to my phone, I can be rung and have one read to me, or there's some more options down here where I can use a security key or an app on my phone. The security key is a dedicated USB device that looks like a memory stick that you push a button on and it sends a code in the same way that the app or the text messages do. I go with the text message and then press next. Again, I enter the code to confirm that it's me and press next. I'm done. Two-step verification is turned on. Next, because I'm a little bit paranoid, I add a second two-factor authentication option. Just in case I change phone numbers at some stage in the future or for some reason the mobile phone network is down. And yes, that did happen last week. I go with the authenticator option as it's an app I already have on my phone. If you don't have it, you can download it from your app store. I use it to scan the QR code and I add the authenticator to this phone. Now when I open and unlock the app, I have immediate access to a six digit code that changes every 30 seconds for this account. It really only takes a few minutes to set up two factor authentication. And then it takes an extra 30 seconds or a minute every time you want to log in to a new device. It's worth it for the security. If some hacker in the house next door or somewhere across the other side of the world wants to try and break into my Google account, they'll have to hack my phone as well, which is way more difficult, thousands and thousands of times more difficult. And they're just gonna move on to someone else without two-factor authentication that's an easier target. Question of the day. Do you have two-factor authentication set up? Or will you go and set it up now? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video was useful to you, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and repair it if it breaks. There's some older episodes you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can click the logo down here to subscribe and then click the bell icon to be notified of any new episodes as they come out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.